What's up y'all? It's your girl Sakina and I'm back with another review. This is my review for the Red Housewives of Atlanta. This is season 15 episode 1. And it is started off with Sheree and Martel on my computer screen. I don't appreciate this. I'm not here for this. I'm not excited about this. The episode really starts off four days prior, which is Ross's 40th birthday party, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like Candy and Sonya are going to get into it. I'm not too sure, though. You know, they play on editing, so it looks like she's yelling at her, but she could be yelling at somebody else. I don't know. Um, and then we see that Kenya is going off on Lil Lemonhead, Martel. So... I'm not excited about this. But anyway, Martel comes over, fresh off of a photo shoot. Sheree, I mean, she gets on my nerves, but the girl looks amazing, okay? body yaddy, okay? She got her She by Sheree tights on, and she is definitely selling the garment that I'm sure is not available on her site. But anyway, he's coming over, and she's like, yeah, I met him through a friend. He's on another show, in which we all know that's Love and Marriage Huntsville, a.k.a. Well, I think Rodney calls it Love and Hip Hop Huntsville, <laughs> Because that's exactly what it is. I no longer watch the show. So I have no idea what's been going on. So yeah, that's just how far removed I am from um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. I just can't do it anymore. But anyway, yeah. So she's given the introduction on how they met. She said, despite what we see on TV, he's treated her with nothing but respect. Girl, we know that you suck at dating and selecting men as we got the flashback to Tyrone. Yes, need we be reminded of your terrible decisions in men. But whatever, this is who you going with now. And I mean, have at it. We all see the signs. I don't know why you want to deal with him, especially when he's obviously still hung up on male. They have four children. He has a fifth child with Arion and who it seems that he's continuously dipping in and out of. Girl, if you want to go ahead and join the circus of chaos and confusion, have at it. But, Sheree, I already know you're going to get on my nerves. And did y'all see him pouring up that wine? Yeah, he trying to plug in that wine that he named after his grandma. Sheree, you're being used. I mean, they're using each other at this point. We see it. With the same. So this was the surprise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. I tell you what, I thought the damn surprise was. <laughs> what you thought the surprise was? I'm good. I don't know. You think good? And then I peeped over and saw the woman at the door. I was like, what's the surprise is this? Oh, already? <laughs> I actually considered uh, having a threesome with She should have cut him out. But we never did it. The funny thing is, he actually did it with somebody else. Ew! <laughs> you Don't Sorry, nobody you know. want to think about you and Bob having a, a, a threesome, let alone having sex together. Please. Sheree Sparrows. So they're talking about Sonya's party. You know, Sonya, Sheree, and Marlo, don't forget that they're a clique. But yeah, they're invited to Ross's birthday party. Martel wants to know who all is going to be there. Candy's going to be there. And they do a flashback of Candy calling him an opportunist. So then Martel goes and says, don't forget the opportunist is your husband. But let's not forget that Ty was established before Candy got with him. So let's not... Yes, he definitely came up. She upgraded Ty. We're not going to deny that. However, what was you doing before a male walked into your life? What are you doing afterwards? Using Sheree as an opportunity to get your foot in some other doors in Atlanta, being associated with a housewife of Atlanta. Also mentioning that damn wine Pouring that wine, baby, you're an opportunist. Let's not forget that, brokey. Can't even create your own opportunities. Don't even want to get your builder's license because your ass lazy and too slow to even pass the test. Let's not get started on opportunists, Martel. You about to work me up. So then we get the Candy Coated Click reunited. We have Karma, Don Juan and Candy down at the Candy Factory. And they're talking about... You know, Don Juan is throwing slick shade, talking about how she got a new group of friends. That's Sonya and Drew. I'm surprised he didn't say Kenya, but yeah, whatever. And um, 
she was like, whatever. They bring up Sheree and how her site crashed. Shout out to House of Aaron because he got a feature on the show. And they were talking about how she about Sheree's website crash. You know, Sheree, her confession was saying that's a good thing. How many people came to your website and crashed it? The thing is, you're ill prepared. That's the that's that's the problem. What we seen on the runway is that what we seen on the site, sis. You don't know how to handle business, like Candy said. They try to help you, but you feel like you know it all, and you're so you know grand and all of this, and then you give us city trends, girl. Please. Anyway, those confessional looks. Speaking of city trends, just ghetto, gaudy, candy. What was that? That, I don't know, the eye was busy, the outfit was busy. I don't like Sheree's, um blue hoochie mama dress with the little peep holes in it, with the acrylic accessories, the acrylic Chanel bracelet, the chandelier acrylic earrings. What's going on? This looks a damn mess. I don't like this at all. If this is how y'all coming already, let's throw all of that away. I can't wait. To Keisha, color me pink, shout out to Keisha. I can't wait for her commentary on the confessional looks because I know she is going to roast these women. They look a damn mess and we only didn't seen two confessionals thus far. And then Candy is bringing back Candy Coated Nights, which I think is good. Uh, you know, it's kind of like Candy been doing this before the Angela... Angela Yee lipstick service. So, you know, that'll be that type of thing. I'm sure she's going to bring her celebrity friends on and things like that. Um, so I think it's a good idea to bring it back because it's still a market for those type of, you know, it's probably going to be a podcast now, whatever. But they're trying to work out the kinks. And then she was like, you know, I was on the phone the other day with Ace. He told me he that I worked too much flash forward or back, whatever the hell to her on the phone with Ace and he's crying because he wants her to help him. And she's like, you can't get somebody else to do it, child. Them kids is what she's saying. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, she was just like, you can't get somebody else to help. That's the thing, Candy. We have this conversation with you every season about how you just work, you work, you work. And I love the ideas. I love the drive. I love the entrepreneurial spirit. But yes, you have little kids. Ace is six and he's crying because he wants his mom. He does not want you know, the nanny or your cousin, whoever, Todd, he doesn't want them to help. He wants you. And you don't want your kids to grow up and feel like you are an absent parent, even though you are there for your kids. You, you clearly need to be more hands-on. Riley has said it. Now you have Ace who was able to communicate that to you. You have Todd who was always in your ear. You're going to have to listen at some point and really dial back. But baby, Candy is all about the money, so I don't know. So we have Miss Kenya Moore and Monietta join, okay? And they're having a conversation. You know, Candy, the grudge holder, is talking about how Monietta didn't have her back last season when Candy and Marlo was going at it. And when they showed the flashback, it's like, Monietta wasn't going against you. Candy, you have to relax with this type of stuff. And Monietta didn't like the fact that Candy was doing all of that. And I'm with Monietta. Like, girl, let her hear both sides before she makes a decision. She doesn't have to blindly follow you. Like, girl, she was just saying that both of y'all need to come together or never say what y'all said to each other again. It wasn't nothing more than that. So anyway, um, Monietta's husband was having a party and Kenya went, she had company, she went by herself, but she did have some type of companion. This companion, his name is Roy, and he's good friends with Monietta, and they, they've been getting together, Kenya and this man, and she said that, you know, he is making her feel like a woman again, some things have been awakened. She has been trying to get a divorce or separated from Mark since 2019, and that's still going on, and I just don't understand what the holdup is, but whatever. So, she didn't got her a new bae. She living her life, and Miss Team Twirl is about to join Team Swirl. I said, okay, girl. All right, ma'am. We just gonna see. But, you know, I'm here for Kenya and her having some happiness and a good companion that is actually good for her. So, this is something that I'm willing to stay tuned with. So then they get into the topic of Sheree again. 
Kenya is like, um, Martel definitely tried to slick talk to me and he sent me a DM. Um, you know, just communication via Instagram. And so they was like, all right, let's go see. So she goes to the DM. She clearly doesn't follow him in the way that her, her Instagram is set up is the same way mine is. If I don't follow you, I don't want your DMs coming to my regular DMs. I have to accept it first. So when she went to go accept the message, it's not there. I wonder why. Because he's now dating Sheree. And he wants to take all of that back just in case, you know, somebody wants to present some receipts. Like, oh yeah, he was also trying to talk to me, being the opportunist that he is, you know, trying to get on. Of course, he was trying to talk to Kenya. But now that he's talking to Sheree, he wants to retract those messages. Yeah, okay. So then we talk about Candy. She's having issues with Todd. Todd is trying to write a movie. He wants her to produce. She doesn't really have the time, but she's trying to make time. When she tries to make time, he moves the time and says that the time wasn't available. Blah, blah, blah. She gets emotional because she feels like Todd is trying to make her the problem. And just like Kenya said, y'all have to figure out a way, okay, to make y'all marriage work. Candy, it's going to be the same problem every every season now. We want you to actually make some strides here. So then we get to Sonya. And, you know, she still has a full house. Everybody's still there. Um, and I told you, they kind of are like a content house where the parents make reels. Ross and Sonya makes reels. Her sister and her husband make reels. Like, they all, they, how they be in the house making TikToks when they ain't filming here making reels on Instagram and stuff. Anyway, the gang is all there. And at this point, they're getting ready for Ross's party. I'm a little nervous because, yes, we know that Sonya cannot decorate her home decor, nor can she throw a party properly and decorate that. So I'm very nervous. Girl, I hope that you hired a, a party planner for this Harlem Nights theme party. Girl, okay. So... Then they start talking about how uh, Sonya's sister, her husband, is Sonya's assistant. Now, is it me, but does it sound like he was complaining about doing assistant work? As far as book a flight, do this, do that. Now, she's doing this to help him get into networking because he wants to be in the real estate world so she's like okay well that's what you want to do well this is the time where you can you know try to uh network being around people that i'm around and i appreciate that you know that's nice but the thing is i'm like sir what are you complaining about i don't know if i if i heard incorrectly but i was just confused as to what he was complaining about so her sister chimed in and was like, your problem, Sonya, is that you don't respect boundaries. So what the sister was saying was valid as far as, you know, we eat at the same time every night. When I'm getting prepared to play food, you go and ask my kids, do they want to go play when you already know that this is our routine? So now I got to look like the bad guy because I'm breaking up the play date so we can go eat. And then she was like, the sister gave an example of Sonya comes in at night at 11 and then ask her sister, can you cut my wig out? No, I don't want to cut your wig out. I'm asleep or I'm chilling or, you know, I'm just resting for the rest of the day. It's not all about you. At once upon a time, Sonya, it definitely was when your mom was your manager, your dad was your manager, your sister was your hairstylist. Yes, you helped your family eat. And that that's admirable. That's what family is all about, helping each other. But you have to understand that now that it's not all about you, that you are not going to be their top priority even though you know they all are, are living in your house but you also wanted them there so it's just like y'all gotta figure that out and husband if you're gonna be the assistant then baby you need to start assisting and Sonya I'm gonna need you listen no disrespect to Caribbean people no disrespect because I love y'all but a lot of y'all do have the represent the the reputation of not really knowing how to dress Sonya, that confessional, the hair, the earrings, the bodysuit, because I know that was a bodysuit, that little, uh, what's that, Mugler? 
Y'all, four for four, terrible confessional looks because we got candy 70s inspired afro, no. Uh, Sheree and her acrylic jewelry, no. Uh, candy and her extra beaded outfit and eyeshadow, no. Um, Sheree had another confessional. I think her first one I didn't like. I can't remember what she had on. The only one who looked cute is, is the chocolate Barbie, Kenya. So then we get into Marlo, and honestly, she came so late within the episode, I kind of forgot about her. I shot out and forgot about her and Drew. Honestly, no shade, because we ain't seen Drew yet either. But, um, yeah, she there with the kids. They have a life coach now, and they're trying to make their situation better. So, yeah, next. Now, Sheree. This She by Sheree two-piece that you got on... Ain't nobody paying $274 for that when they can get that from Amazon or Shein. Miss Shein by Sheree. She can't pay. We ain't paying that price. Hell, that shit ain't even available on the website, I'm sure. Cut it out. She wants she by Sheree to be a luxury brand so bad. Hang it up, baby, okay? Give it up, delicious. Now, Sheree has this friend coming over. Um, well, it's Sheree, Sonya. And they're doing a workout, and then Sheree has her friend Courtney come over. She had on these thigh-high boots. I don't know. Some about her just seemed real theatrical and not authentic to me. I don't know. I'm just going to hold out on that. Courtney brought up Candy and how Candy has been going around asking people about her. I guess Courtney been saying that her and Candy are friends. Candy been pulling up the girl's Instagram. And I mean, if some, I do that. I know, and I'm gonna say in a sense of somebody follows me on Instagram and I'm like, we have a mutual friend. I will literally shoot my friend a text or a message, who is this? And I'm gonna show you their Instagram or whatever. Who Who is this person? Because you a mutual friend and I don't know what they want with me. Child, who is this? So, yeah, I do that. I don't know. They really didn't give us enough information as to why Candy was doing that. Not to me, at least, because I don't know. I was just kind of like, okay, and what was the issue? I don't know. But I guess this is the girl that's supposed to be going at it with Candy at Ross's party. But anywho, Sheree had the nerve to say that Candy has a lot of time on her hands these days. That was real cute. That was like equivalent to um who that is equivalent to Larsa saying that Nicole doesn't have a real job. I have businesses or I'm busy unlike you or whatever Larsa was saying to Dr. Nicole on Housewives of Miami. That was equivalent to what Sheree was just saying. Sheree is Larsa in this situation. Like, are you kidding me? Candy has a lot of time on her hands because she made a reel about you using you saying that she used you as clickbait miss worldwide used she watched the right miss a fashion show with no fashion as clickbait <sighs> again hang it up yes it's gonna be so crazy because you know i haven't seen candy since new york so this is my first time seeing her tonight so, just, but you I, see the, the, the spoofs on Instagram. Stick to that, baby, because Broadway ain't working out for you, okay. and CNN ain't working out for you. No, stick to the no, spoofs. No, no. Like, this shit was funny. Mm -mm. Like, it, exactly, oh. it was. This is another one. Now we just got done talking about Sheree and how it's laughable for her to say that Candy doesn't have. I guess much to do, and she got a lot of time on her hands. And then for Marlo to say Broadway ain't working. Ain't she on her way to her ego? If I'm not mistaken, Candy just got a, a Tony Award or something like that. Let me see. But anyway, she got that. And then you say singing ain't working for her. Miss Worldwide is on tour right now with her group that was established before this Real Housewives of Atlanta thing, Escape. Girl, I mean... What what's up with like the reads on Candy are falling extremely flat? I I just don't understand it. So it says she's in the, she's in line to reach the status after the Tony and Emmy nomination. 
Okay, can we please stop this shade because it's not landing? Y'all hang this shit up. How many times I gotta keep saying it? Why are we 30 minutes into this show and Conehead has made his debut talking shenanigans right out the gate? He's there without Drew because Drew is sick. She also had a family emergency, a family crisis. So why your lump head ass ain't there? If it's a family crisis, a crisis, but you're not there for your wife. Now, granted, we know that they did the great race to the divorce court, okay? Drew won that race, okay? That, that track and field history that she got. Maybe she ain't tore no ligament down there because she beat him to it. So we already know what they got going on present day. But it's like, but you still felt like you should show up. Between Martell and Conehead, they're going to exhaust me this season. I already know it. She has a lot going on with family. Her father is sick, so she's dealing with a lot. I need to make sure I show love and support to my boy, though. It's his 40th. Right, yeah, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I'm thinking he was about to say, I got to show love and support to my wife. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Is that still a roll of wine that they selling at this party or giving out? Strike one, Sonya, cause no ma'am. I drink Stella Rosa, but guess what? I'm I'm middle class, okay? You supposed to have a little coin on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You ain't supposed to be selling Stella Rosa. I know that top when I see it. The budget is not there. Well, hell, I mean it is there. She didn't spend a hundred K. But they cut down and it was either BYOB or she bought a few cases down at Kroger before she got there. Child, this is ghetto. You know, Sonya and Ross, they make their, their debut to the party and Ross just looking fine as wine. Finer than that Stella Rose that they got down at the bar. Baby, got no hard feel about that me and that Yeah, I know how I feel about Ross, okay? <laughs> Looking good. Sonya, I wanted your outfit to be better. You are the birthday man's wife. I wanted you to come harder. I feel like I like Sheree's outfit. Marlo looked good. Um, Kenya, I did not like her outfit like that. I didn't like Candy's um, braid with the little piece. And I didn't like that. Um, who else? I can't really think. I oh, don't know. I ain't like that, though. I feel like some of the looks could have definitely been better for the type of party that it was. Nonetheless, Sheree, speaking of her, she didn't show up with Martell. Mm. It's official now? I know. We officially gave her the Okay. <laughs> 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 Kia is so damn nosy. Stop worrying about my relationship. Now, Miss Vaughn Collector. Mark is going to take more manor in a divorce settlement. Oh. And hopefully, he adds baseboards. Oh. Wait a minute, Sheree. Because you need to be worried about Chateau, Sheree. How you going to keep up with them bills? Because we already know your good sis, Kim. Miss Tardy for the party. Her and her 10 kids. They got to figure out where they're going to stay. Because her and Corey getting a divorce. And, and they ain't got no money. You very much so could be down that same road, Miss Ma'am. Because you already know a lot of our theories is that Tyrone was funding. Chateau Sheree with his scamming money. And this is all alleged. But ma'am, let's not act like you just got money rolling in. Because we still wondering what you do to keep up with that Chateau. Not too much. Because deep down inside, we already know. You you brokey too. You, Robin. Who else brokey? There's somebody else that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. But you a part of it. Cause you always keeping up with the Joneses. So. I think Sheree needs her own spinoff show. Watch me date these dumb dudes. Oh, <laughs> uh 
Uh-uh. Wait, because you finna get it too. You next too now. You know I love you, but wait a minute now. Let's not forget about Walter. Let's not forget about Crazy Smack. Oh, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> on Twitter, y'all. Somebody on Twitter retweeted that video of Matt and Peter fighting at the radio station. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Matt did all that shit talking to Peter. Hey, him in the headlock. <laughs> Ooh okay, but back to the situation at him. Yes, let's not forget, forget about Psycho Matt. And then we got the Moocher Mark with his nose ring. I only said that because Sheree said it uh, when he had first got on the show. I don't have no problem with men wearing nose rings. It is what it is. It's been a thing. I just wanted to say that because I can't stand his ass. So, yeah. Can you? Mm-mm. Y'all all trying it at this point. So, then we have Marlo talking to Courtney. You know, the infamous Courtney. Sonya filled Marlo in the day before about how Courtney said that Candy was looking her up and saying that Courtney was going around calling Candy one of her friends and Courtney was like, yeah, I mean, I don't look desperate for friends. And the person that told me this is actually a friend of Candy's. So she doesn't have a reason to lie. And Marlo is eating up the tea. And she's like, yeah, I definitely feel like you need to talk to Candy. So we already know how this is going to go. And then we see Mayetta, Candy, and Kenya talking about Mar, uh, not Marlo, but Martel. And how he has other women around Atlanta that he's involved with. They don't know if it's just sex or it could be more. But you already know Candy. Okay, Mama Joyce's daughter. She got her ears to the streets. And when she be hearing stuff, she be hearing it. Remember, she tried to give Portia a warning about Dennis. She didn't want to listen. But yeah. So they're thinking about whether or not they should tell Sheree or whether they don't. Or if Martel already told Sheree. They don't know. But Kenya wants to pull Sheree aside to have a side conversation. So... Mm -hmm. Okay. Dina called me when I was in Paris and was like, hey, did you tell somebody that you and Candy were friends? I was like, what? Somebody asked me, did I know you? And I was like, I don't know her. Yeah, but I guess but I was like, I we were friends. And I was like, I don't have to say you're friends. I don't even really know you like I that. I didn't say that I knew you. I said we were in a similar social setting. Okay, well, what's the energy? The energy right. Is like, you know, if we met each other before, that doesn't even mean like if somebody said your name, I wouldn't really remember you like that. And that's okay. I didn't say that. Okay, well, you but don't have to give me the crazy the energy. energy. It's not crazy. Yeah, you are giving an energy. You know, I text you last time. Courtney was definitely giving an energy. And, I mean, this all sounds foolish, but Courtney is looking for her way in to me. So Mayetta is filling Sheree in on word on the street. Martel got other women in Atlanta. Sheree's like, he been here for three days. Like, where this girl at? I'm a Ferrari. If he want to downgrade to a Toyota, then he can have added girl. Blah, 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 blah. You already know who you dealing with, okay? You already know that he is very capable of doing what he did to his wife of many years, the mother of his children, so please don't think that you are exempt just because your body is banging and you're a beautiful woman because Mel had the same qualities, honey. And get, I mean, she ain't stacked as you, but she still has a nice body. She's still beautiful. And guess what? He cheated too. Mm -hmm. So this is what you, you're going to get yourself into because of who you decided to have a relationship with, whatever the hell it is that y'all doing. Why is her feelings hurt? But y'all don't know each other. Right. Is this candy look like when she's mad at me? Baby, I got front row seats to candy in the boxer. And I did not cause the mess. Marlo got sweet. 
question at all. Listen, Miss Courtney. Okay, you better. I'm about to headbutt this bitch. Okay. No, no, no. no Listen, Miss no. Courtney. You don't want to start with Miss Candy, okay? Listen, Courtney is definitely doing too much. That's what I'm saying. It gives off the energy that she is looking for a way into the group. It's something about Sheree's friends. Because remember, um, Miss Man from last season, it, Drew tried it with the doggy treats. She was doing a lot too when she hit the scene. Now Miss Courtney is doing a lot too. How was your feelings hurt because somebody that you that you don't know said that they don't know you? She did y'all hear her say that her feelings was hurt? How was your feelings hurt? But you said that you don't need her. I mean, you don't know her. You don't need to clout chase or anything like that. So why was your feelings hurt by Candy, somebody that you don't know? Make that make sense to me, Courtney. Because yeah, at this point, I am going to feel like you're seeking attention. You should know that he did slide into my DMs before. Let me see it. As a friend, I just want somebody to be honest with me. Yeah, well, let me see it. I'm to be honest. Just want it, because I don't want you hearing it from anybody else. Well, you know what? He's here. Why don't I call him over here? And he tell him that she just told me. Now, you know that man a liar. I want you to tell me. You know he ain't going to tell the truth. So that was the end of the episode, y'all, because Sheree and caught Martell over there based on what Kenya said. And um, we already know based off of these previews that it's definitely going to escalate. Um, y'all then tore up and tore down Ross's party. You got Candy getting ready to headbutt just because of their delivery and bouncing of the head. She's going to bounce it like a basketball. Miss Courtney, you might want to take it, bring it on down, okay? Bring it on down, just like she told Nene, okay? You better watch out, Miss Candy. And um, then you got Kenya about to read Martell for Phil. So I'm interested to see how the rest of this party is going to continue. I feel like this was a good episode. You know, I was entertained. Um, I could have went without Marlo's part. I know that it is, you know, an opening. Um, so you have to catch up with the girls from last season and stuff. I see that they do have a new layout for the intro. I'm peeping, okay? We got some upgrades here at Atlanta, and I'm happy to see that. Um, we just need to upgrade them confessionals, baby. It's 15 years in the game. We should not be looking like this, ladies. Let's do better. Um, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Be sure to check us out on the Whether You Like It or Not panel. We are back again for this season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, I will put the link in Monday's episode or yesterday's episode in my description box. Y'all go check that out. I need to check it out myself because I don't watch anything until I do my review. So I want to see how my friends did last night. And um, yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. The next time y'all see me, I'm going to be at home, child, back, back in the original studio. But um, yes, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.